The Korean conflict is entering space. North Korea is all set to launch a spy satellite. At least that's what they claim. The launch is slated for next month. It could happen between May 31st and June 11th. North Korea has notified Japan of the launch. They say it could affect the waters near the Yellow Sea and the East China Sea. Japan has put its missile defense on alert. The plan is to shoot down any projectile that enters Japanese territory. This announcement raises a couple of questions. Why does Pyongyang need a spy satellite? Does it have such technologies? And why is the US and South Korea worried? Kim Jong-un has a long wish list of weapons, like nuclear submarines and intercontinental missiles. A spy satellite was also part of that list. But here's how Pyongyang is justifying it. A spy satellite would help North Korea identify US warplanes and deployments. It would improve the accuracy of any military strike. That's the official explanation. But is North Korea capable of building something like that? They have launched two Earth observation satellites before, one in 2012 and again one in 2016. Neither has sent any pictures back to Earth. Is this spy satellite any different? Experts say it's unlikely. North Korea's state media has released a picture of the so-called spy device. Experts say it's too small to relay high-quality pictures. Why then is Pyongyang bothering to launch it? to test the technology. You see, satellite launchers share a lot in common with long-range missiles. The core technology is same. So launching spy satellites could be an excuse. The real reason could be testing out ballistic missile technology, which, by the way, is illegal. The UN Security Council has banned North Korea from using ballistic technology. So if this launch goes ahead, there will be sanctions, or rather, more sanctions. Japan and South Korea have criticized Pyongyang's plan. They're calling it a serious provocation. So why is Kim Jong-un provoking and why now? Just last week, the US and South Korea conducted live fire drills near North Korea. Four more drills are planned. Both countries are marking 70 years of their alliance. So naturally, Kim Jong-un is angry. He usually escalates when there is a joint drill. But this time, he's got more reasons. South Korea also launched its first commercial-grade satellite last week. The hope is to build and deploy a spy satellite by late 2023. This would give South Korea an edge. So maybe Kim Jong-un is thinking ahead. Maybe he wants to keep the military status quo. But to do that, he will also need outside help. Kim's biggest ally is China. They have refused to comment on the planned launch. Instead, they called for meaningful dialogue. Where does that leave the Korean Peninsula? More volatile than before. Kim Jong-un has carried out 100 missile tests since 2022. In the past, such tests indicated a willingness to talk. It was Kim's way of saying, come to the table. But this time, the dynamics are different. The Ukraine war will be playing on his mind. In the 1990s, Ukraine gave up its nuclear weapons and look what happened to them. So getting Kim to give up his nukes will be harder than ever. Plus, how interested is the US? Biden has taken a harsher stance than Donald Trump. So no summits and love letters. In fact, last month, he sent a stern warning. Biden said a nuclear attack by North Korea would end the Kim dynasty. He also signed a new security declaration with Seoul. So the dynamics in Korea have changed. South Korea is more assertive now. It has launched a satellite. It is talking about becoming the world's number one arms manufacturer. All this would have unsettled Kim Jong-un. Hence, the satellite launch.